I just wonder what it's like to take your dog to work. Well, in this video, we're going to show you. The day starts like most others. Get up around seven o'clock and get myself ready for work. I need to make sure I take all the buddy supplies with us. So things like poo bags, lots of different toys, some kind of brain stimulation, so a Kong or chew toy, um, a water bowl, a licky mat's good if you've got one, and some proper hard chews. Um, they're all essentials for keeping Buddy entertained whilst in the office. I like to make sure he looks his best, so we give him a little brush before we leave the house. I know he's gonna get a lot of attention that day, so it's just nice he looks good for it, really. I grab his lead and get ready to leave the house. This was filmed a few weeks ago, back in April, oh. so the weather's actually quite nice. An ideal temperature for taking Buddy to work. It's not too hot, not too cold. There are three parts to our commute because we live a little bit out of London. The first part is a car ride to our local train station in Stevenage. This takes somewhere around 15 to 30 minutes, just depending on the level of traffic at the time I leave in the morning. It's not a bad drive though. At the time of filming this, they still hadn't completed one of the car parks and because we were a little bit late, we had to park a little bit further away from the station and walk in. Though in hindsight with Buddy, that's not such a bad thing. It gives him a chance to burn off a little bit of energy in the morning as we walk to the train and to answer all of the calls of nature. The walk itself is about 10 minutes from car to station. Traveling with dogs in the UK on trains is pretty simple. They don't cost any extra. You don't have to worry about things like muzzles. Just make sure they're well behaved and that they don't sit on the seats. Here you can see Buddy chilling out as we take the train from Stevenage into London. I have a pretty specific route in mind when I take Buddy to work with me. Because he's a larger dog, it's important I go for accessible stations and where I can, trains and services that have aircon. In this instance, we're going all the way down to London Blackfriars station where we can get the circle line from there to Victoria. And Blackfriars is a pretty cool station. It's actually over the River Thames, so you get a nice view of London as you get off the train. It's pretty quiet as we're walking through the station. I think it's around 10 past nine in the morning at this point, so most of the morning commuting rush has is, is passed. Buddy's having a great time as we walk across the station. We make our way down to the underground where Buddy chills out. He's pretty tired from the walking and he's quite warm, so laying down helps him keep cool. It's only a few stops from there until we get to Victoria. We walk past one Google office, have a little sniff along the way, and just past Victoria Station, make our way to 123 Buckingham Palace Road to the London Victoria office. Buddy knows exactly where my desk is and leads me there. The first part of the morning is to make sure we're both adequately hydrated. So I make my way to the kitchen and grab myself a coffee. The first stop is to see what cold drinks they have. Normally I have a protein shake or some kind of juice in the morning. And I'm also curious to see what snacks they have. All the healthy stuff's at the top and then the good stuff's at the bottom. I often need to remind myself how fortunate we are that we have all this free food available to us. I then make myself a coffee they do sometimes have baristas at work, and in this case there wasn't one here. But work offer training and teach you how to use the machine, so I can make myself a pretty average coffee. And by average, I mean average. That latte art is funny. There's also a smaller kitchen near my desk where I grab Buddy some water. He gets through around two to three bottles of this water a day. So I try to be smart and stock up on a couple in the morning. He's usually pretty thirsty after not having a drink for a couple of hours as we've commuted into work, and so smashes a bottle pretty quickly. Here's a quick shot of my laptop, just so you can see all the stickers, including the Bowie and Winston customized dog stickers. Then I want to get on with some work, so I help Buddy settle by giving him a Kong. Um, I've just put a couple of treats right down the bottom for him, so that'll keep him occupied for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, but will help him settle down and just get ready for a day of work. That leaves me ready to get on with some work. Buddy's actually really good during the day. Uh, he spends most of the time just napping or sleeping behind my desk, having a, an hour and a half commute in the morning, 
leaves him pretty tired. He also spends some time with Megan, my desk neighbour. It's one of those occasions he's just happy to be involved. At lunchtime, I take Buddy out for a walk. We aim for somewhere between 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how my calendar looks. On this occasion, we swung by the Dougla Treat Jar, just to get a little boost of energy before going out. We then head outside, by the lifts. Buddy and I get pretty impatient waiting for them. And take a walk around London. Our destination was towards Battersea this time. If you didn't know, Battersea Power Station is dog friendly now, so you can take your dog there to go shopping or get some lunch. We just wanted a destination to walk to. As you cross over the bridge, you can see Battersea Power Station on one side, and just off to the right is Battersea Park, another great destination to take your dog for a walk. It's been newly renovated and there is an observation deck that comes out one of the chimneys. You can just see it in this part of the video. It's pretty cool because I hadn't seen it working yet. Buddy was pretty keen to see the trains that was crossing the bridge and the helicopter that flew over at the same time. Okay, I think that's enough trains for now, so it's time to head back to the office. Why is my shoe so squeaky? If you're lucky enough to work in a dog-friendly office, my advice is to find somebody who can help you look after your dog. There are certain areas that are just not allowed to go, so food areas, bathrooms, gyms, and if you want to use any of those facilities, you need a buddy to help you look after your dog. And in this case, Megan helps look after Buddy whilst I go and get some lunch. I leave him with some toys and I make my way over to the restaurant. Considering I came in at the tail end of lunch, there were still some burgers, etc., for me to have for lunch, so I grabbed a drink and made my way back to my desk. And because Buddy had the lunchtime walk, he was exhausted and pretty much slept all afternoon at this point. Although he did take some time to change position every now and then. The micro kitchen's right by our desk. Uh, it's another place that dogs aren't allowed to go. Buddy pushes his luck just by sliding his two feet over the threshold. I grab a drink before we hit another yeah. meeting and maybe a snack as well. Another cream egg, why not? It's Easter. It is. After a meeting, Buddy's back at the desks having another nap. It's what he does best. Before leaving, we check out the Doogler wall. A Doogler is what you call a dog at Google, and you can see how many are in our office. It's 10 to 5, and I make that home time. Our route home is ever so slightly different from our route in. We head through Victoria Station, but this time taking the Victoria line versus the Circle line. Because Buddy's more tired, he's more tolerant to the slightly warmer, busier underground on the way home. It does take a while to navigate through the station. We have to take a series of lifts to get down to the Victoria line, but make it eventually. People often comment on how well Buddy is behaved on the underground. Sometimes he gets a lot of fuss from passengers, but on this occasion, nobody was paying him any attention and he couldn't work out why. If you ever see us on the underground, you're more than welcome to say hello. Just make sure you ask permission first before touching the dog. We then get to Finsbury Park Station and climb all of the stairs up to the platform to get the train back to Stevenage. The train is pretty quick, it runs every 15 minutes or so and takes about 25 minutes to get from Finsbury Park to Stevenage. From Stevenage train station we walk back to the car. This takes about 10 minutes and it's actually quite a nice way for Buddy to kind of wind down from a busy day.
It's then back in the car for the last part of the journey home. This is about 20 minutes from the uh, car park back into the village. When we get home, Buddy leads us to the house where he will probably have a little nap before dinner and then go to bed. It's a long day for him. He's always on, even when he's napping. And there's a lot of walking around, but I think he does like it. If you enjoyed this adventure, please subscribe to our channel and see what else we get up to. Thanks for watching.